Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome back to Atari Week here on Classic Game Room for the first CGR Atari home computer review. This is Pac-Man on Atari XEGS, where the GS stands for going somewhere. Maybe to play more Pac-Man. It's a great game. Can never get enough. You know his name and you know the game, it's Pac-Man! Namco's 1980 arcade smash hit being played here on Atari Home Computer. Specifically, the Atari XEGS, which is like a souped-up Atari 5200 that actually works. And gives you controller options like the Atari 2600 joystick, Atari 7800 gamepad, or my favorite, the Sega Genesis controller, which is what I'm using. Whoa, whoa, be, be careful there, Pac-Man. Who do you think you are, Casey Munchkin? As you probably know if you're following Classic Game Room on the website and all of our various internet channels out there, I recently acquired a Pac-Man arcade machine. I love Pac-Man. And I've been playing that a lot, practicing for the review, because Pac-Man's a tough game. I don't want to look like a complete fool when I review it. And it's tough to downshift the speed into this version, which is far slower than the arcade machine, at least at the beginning. Uh, Pac-Man on the Atari picks up speed as you continue playing through the game. So going from one speed to another is kind of awkward, but the game itself is amazing for a 1982 release. Now I'm not even going to bother comparing this version to the Atari 2600 Pac-Man, they're two completely different animals. This is basically the Atari 5200 Pac-Man played with a controller that doesn't suck. And that means this is an excellent version of Pac-Man worth owning. The video output on the XC is also really good, look at the colors. Extremely sharp, crisp visuals, and good sounds. Pac-Man may not be fancy, but you want the game to look and sound good. Most importantly, it plays well. It plays like Pac-Man. Not as fast and responsive as the arcade machine, but for a 1980s home game system, it's pretty damn good. While I typically prefer Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man has its own unique challenges. Since there's only one maze, you've got to really watch the corners. It's easy to get trapped, especially on the bottom. If you can get all of the ghosts behind you trapped in the tunnel, they slow down, making them easier to eat. And there's a ton of strategy in Pac-Man. One area where the game differs from a lot of other early 80s arcade games is that Pac-Man gives you all the time in the world. You're not being rushed to clear off each maze. If you hang around indefinitely, you'll eventually lose, but Evil Otto's not going to come on screen in 30 seconds and kill you. So take some time, try to eat everything, and then get the ghosts, because that's where you score the big points. Gobbling up the dots doesn't really do a whole lot for you. As you keep playing and making your way through the levels, the game gets faster and faster and eventually plays like the actual arcade game. It's a wonderful version of Pac-Man and I have two people to thank for this. Laurie from Finland. Let's get you on the map there, finally. Laurie sent a bunch of Atari computer games and Mark from Fresh Meadows, New York, who also sent the Atari XE computer. So thanks to both of you for Pac-Man! This one should also play on the Atari 800XL. I'm not sure about the 400, I've never actually seen one of those. 
It's easily one of the best home console versions of Pac-Man that I've ever played. A must-have if you're collecting for Atari Home Computer, which, gosh darn it, you should be. Not only can you play games, it also hooks up to a printer. So thanks again, Mark. Thanks, Lori, and thanks to Casey Munchkin for emotional support.